Hello and welcome back to Park City Television's Mountain Morning Show. I'm so thrilled to introduce to you a good friend of mine. This is Mark Carpenter. Mark is a trainer and consultant with People Smart Solutions. Thanks so much for being here this morning, Mark. Oh, well, thanks for inviting me yeah, up. Yeah, it's great to have you. And, and I mentioned at the beginning of the show, you have some pretty cool information to share with us and, 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 inf and information that anyone, individuals, families, companies can integrate and, and use because who doesn't need to change bad habits or, yeah. or alter those? So first off, before we get more into change anything, what we're going to be talking about, what is People Smart Solutions? Uh, People Smart Solutions is a principal associate of Vital Smarts, uh, which is a company that's based in, in Provo. And we provide the Vital Smarts content, the, the training, uh, in Utah, Idaho, and Nevada. And uh, our focus, al along with Vital Smarts focus, is to really help people and organizations change for good. We want to create positive, lasting change, and so that's really the, the emphasis uh, of our company. It's a great opportunity that we have to, to share that with other people. Very good. And so, talking about Change Anything, you notice this book up here. Um, what is Change Anything, and where did it come from? Uh, change Anything is, is a book, obviously, yes. and uh, it's a, also a one-day training program <laughs> that focuses in on helping individuals make change. Uh, how do we change the habits that are holding us back? And this can be at work or at home. Uh, but it, we, we find that people struggle sometimes to make change. You can, you can probably relate to that. There's, oh, there's, can't we there's all? things you've, yeah, that, that you've there's tried to try change and, try and struggled again, you can't. with. Yeah. And I think a lot of times people lack an organized way to think about change. Mm -hmm. And that's why they struggle to make change. And change anything gives a structured way to look at change that's flexible enough for people to apply to any area of their life and any change that they want to make. And what I like about this, this is something you can apply to you know, your personal life in your professional life. Yes. It's not just for, for one area. Yeah, a absolutely both yeah. sides. And so going into that, what are some common things that, that people are really trying to change? Yeah, well, it, it, part of the background that we had with Change Anything is we went out and asked people who's trying to change. Mm -hmm. We had about 5,000 people step up and say, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make change. And as we tracked with those people uh, over, over time, only 300 of them actually were able to make the changes that they wanted to make. Oh, wow. And so those are sad numbers. <laughs> those are sad numbers, but we can probably relate to those numbers, yeah. too with the things that, that we've struggled in. So we, we looked at what was different about those 300 people? What did they do differently that the other people didn't do, that the rest of us do basically that, to, to make the change? And we found some of the common change areas they were looking at on, on the professional side is something we call career limiting habits. Uh, things like procrastination. Oh, don't uh, we all have that? Uh, well, and that can, that can track both professionally and personally, yes. can't it? Mm -hmm. um, or disorganization, uh, lack of delegation, uh, emotional outbursts. You know, how do you, how do you manage those? Things? How do you change a, a habit if you uh, tend to emotionally react to things? Mm -hmm. On the personal side, things like addictions, whether it be to tobacco or alcohol or drugs. Um, one of the more common ones is around health and wellness. How do we keep fit and eat a more healthful diet, uh, keep our weight where we want it to be? Mm -hmm. uh, another one is managing finances. How do we stay within our budget or, or, or stay out of debt? So those are some of the common change challenges uh, that, that we found that, that these people faced. Okay. So, Mark, you, you've, you've kind of covered you know, a broad range of things, that habits that almost anyone is looking to change. I mean, who, who, who just heard that doesn't have something to relate to? But why is it so hard? to change these habits. I mean, time and time again, the perfect example is losing weight. You make a goal at the beginning of every week, go, I'm gonna do it, and you fail. Why, yeah. why is it so hard? And so every year we just cross off the date on our New Year's resolutions <laughs> and, 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 and change it to the new year, right? That's true, that's true, yeah. it works that way. You, you know, it's interesting, that's one of the things that we learned from those 300 people who were actually able to change, mm -hmm. is that, uh, that they, they tended to do this differently than other people. The rest of us, we tend to overinvest in willpower. We think, if I just try hard enough, I'm going to be able to make so that change. So it's not change. about willpower, because I feel well, like a lot of people feel that way. Yeah, it's partially about willpower. I mean, you need to want to change, but if you look yes. at those 5,000 people, all 5,000 said, I want to change. But that's not the full thing. There's other things exactly. that Exactly. Okay. And, and the, the 300 people who actually made the changes, they didn't overemphasize willpower. They recognized that there were other factors involved in their change that were getting in the way of their change. In fact, let me, let me illustrate that if I can just, just really quickly. Let's go back to that, uh, that procrastination habit that we were talking about. Okay. Let's say I tend to put things off and so yes. I'm late with my projects at work and maybe I've been criticized for that and maybe I'm at risk of even losing my job. So mm -hmm. I decide today that's going to stop. 
Never again will I procrastinate. I'll get everything done on my list. Does this sound familiar? Oh, every day. Okay. There's something like, I'm going to do this yeah. today. I'm, I'm just <laughs> And within do an it. hour, I forget or something. Yeah. Okay, so there's one thing. Sometimes we just forget. Okay. But what are the other factors that get in the way? I sit down in my cubicle at work to try to get things done, and a coworker comes over starts talking to me about what happened over the weekend and I get involved in a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. Somebody else stops by and wants me to help with a project. Or I get something popping up on my email that I feel like I need to check out. Or maybe my boss comes in and changes my priorities in the middle of things. Mm -hmm. Well, at the end of the day, I look back on my list and I haven't gotten half the things checked off that I need to and I feel... You're completely frustrated and you exactly. blame it all on yourself. Exactly. Ugh. I blame it all on myself because I fail to see those other factors that are involved mm -hmm. and that influence it. It wasn't just about my willpower, it was about other people coming in. It was about so the fact that I work in a cubicle. Else, so. <laughs> well, not, not exclusively on someone else, but, <laughs> but do they have a factor? That's a bad thing that people might do, is blame it yeah. completely on someone else. Yeah, and, and, it's, on. and it's not the one thing. It's yes. not just somebody else or just our willpower or just the fact that I sit in a cubicle. Mm -hmm. It's the combination of those things together. And when we're blind to those things, we blame it all on willpower because that's what we can see. Mm -hmm. And the people who are effectively able to make change didn't do that. They opened their eyes to the other factors around and said, I've got to change other things in my environment, not just my willpower. Okay. And so I like he, you talked about, like, what, what is the, those main factors that differentiate those who succeed at changing their habits versus yeah. those who don't? And you say it's recognizing that it's not just willpower. Yeah, so that's, that's one thing. That? And uh, we, we don't have time in the, the, yeah, the short segment that we have. <laughs> if we had an hour or so, I might be able to hit the main key points. But the, the one other thing that, that was a key point, and this is the, really the good news for the rest of us, is I'm ready that, for it. I want to hear it. <laughs> these changers, we learn from them that you don't have to change your life 24-7. It's not about changing everything in your life. They identified certain points in time, crucial moments, that if you changed what you did in those moments, then it would have a disproportionate impact on your ability to make the change. Wow. For, for example, let's go over to the, to, the, to the diet side of things, to trying to have a more helpful diet or to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Well, if I need to lose weight, I don't need to think about lose weight, lose weight, lose weight 24-7. There's just certain points in time when I need to do things a little differently when the people at work say, let's go out to lunch. And I go out to lunch with them and I sit down there in front of the menu, that's a point in time where I need to do something different. And those social situations are usually the ones I think break a lot of people. Absolutely, and, okay. and so again, that ties back to, it's not just about my willpower, it's about the other people around me. It's about mm -hmm. the environment that I'm faced okay. in. I go to a restaurant and they serve me a meal on a platter that's the size of a manhole cover. <laughs> And yeah, I tend to eat more just because of the size of the uh -huh. plate that's there. Or if you you know, don't want to make someone feel bad that made you dinner, you're out at a barbecue, oh, this is amazing, keep yep. on eating it. And yep. Yeah. Exactly. Or you go it. to a potluck and you have to sample some of everything to make everybody feel good. So you can good. tell them that it was amazing, right? There tell you your go. neighbors that was the best casserole you ever had. Yeah. That's so right. There's a lot of things that go into it. So with the idea of change anything, is that idea kind of overstated? I mean... You kind of hear that, you know, a lot, oh, can I do this, can I not? Yeah. What is that really all about? Yeah, anything sounds like almost marketing, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like too much. And well, and, and I will say that I, I'm not going to be able to make myself two inches taller <laughs> by, by using the strategies of change That's anything. That's why girls get heels. Yeah. Girls <laughs> that, can that. There you go. <laughs> See, they can change anything with, uh, yeah. with, with that environmental change. <laughs> but when it comes to behavior, uh, I, I wonder sometimes why we think we can't change anything. Uh -huh. And I think it's often because we look back at our, our track record and think, well, I've tried and failed and tried and failed, so that can't be changed. But why have we failed? Mm -hmm. And I think it's because we haven't had an organized way to make the change in a way that works for us. We sometimes listen to other people say, well, here's the perfect diet, here's the perfect diet. Well, the perfect diet is the diet that works for me. I like that it's you say that. It's not the diet that works for everybody else. That is such a good thing for so many people that I wish they knew, including exactly. myself. I wish I would. Yeah. And you can apply that to anything, not just dieting, that, yep. that idea. Exactly. And so really that's where change anything comes in. Okay. It gives you a structure to put that around to say, what's going to work for me so that I can indeed change anything? Mm -hmm. And it, it really empowers us 
to change the things that are most important to us. Mm -hmm. I love that. And, and Mark, as, I, as I've reviewed some of the material you have on your website, and um, I was able to read a, a chapter of Change Anything that we talked about once. And what I like about it is that um, this whole approach makes you like the subject and the scientist. Yeah. So you're able to kind of like think about your own behavior, adjust it, change it, figure out those different influencers and things, which with all the, the great training you guys offer, you guys go more into that. Yep. Yeah. And, and so with that, you guys do have some training classes coming yes, to talk we, about those. We actually have a training that's on June 5th yes. uh, next week in, in Sandy, and we do these fairly regularly in the, in the Salt Lake area. And we'd love to have people join us for that. Get a copy of the book. That's another way to, to, mm -hmm. to learn a lot. Uh, and go to our website. So you can uh, register online? You right. can register online. OK, yeah. what's your website? www.peoplesmarts.net. So it's peoplesmart with an S. Net. All right. Well, Mark, one last question. For those who feel like there's no hope in changing their habits, do you have like any last bit of advice to, for them to stick in there and, and stay with it and let them know that you know, it is possible to, to alter those bad habits? Yeah, well, I, I, I'd just say from my personal experience, this has changed me. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have two or three different change projects going on with myself at any given time. And having a structure to do it within really gives you the hope. And, and I think that's probably the biggest message of change anything. There is hope. We have hope to change the things that are most important to us. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mark, thank for you. coming on the show and, and talking about this, this amazing book and the training courses that you guys are offering. So once again, it's Mark Carpenter with People Smart Solutions. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us.